good youtube my name is coach and in today's video we're going to be going over my recent pickup at my what i just picked up at my lgs store today technically what we got over here are some cards but before we begin i just want to remind everybody that the giveaway card for this week is this copy of the sanctum of all this is a little uh up here on the bottom but we're giving away this card okay so all you need to do is subscribe to my channel and comment and you enter for a chance to win this card just be aware we do give away a new commander every single week and all you need to do is just subscribe so you can see my videos on your feed and then comment on them in any way shape or form it doesn't really matter what you do and it helps me to just grow this channel at some point the more people we have on this channel the more expensive cards I can do during the giveaway, which I think would be better for everyone involved. Okay, so what we have here are a bunch of auras. I'm planning on building this light pause commander this week. I told somebody that I would build this, so I'm gonna be building this this week. So we went out to the local game store, we picked up some auras, and then I found some cool rares that I wanted to pick up and then we obviously needed some sleeves. So I'm just gonna go over the sleeves first. I got these pink sleeves. I got like this discount card at this store, which is pretty nice. So these are a bit cheaper than what they're what they're normally priced at. But these are the sleeves I'm most likely gonna be using for my light paws commander deck. So we got the dragon shields because dragon shields are overpowered. And then we're go over the rares that I picked up. So First card we have here is Shu Yun, the Silent Tempest. You know, I actually have this commander already built, but uh, I just wanted another copy of this card because this one is foil and I don't have this card in foil. It's just cool. We got a Planner Chaos. Planning on building a coin flipping deck, and this card says that at the beginning of your upkeep you flip a coin if you lose the flip you sacrifice this but then basically what it forces your opponents to do or everyone when they cast a spell they flip a coin if they lose the flip they counter the spell which is a uh, pretty wild next card we have here is for the light pause deck honestly this is the celestial mantle whenever enchanted creature deals combat damage to a player double its controller's life total which I think would be pretty cool to do in a light pause deck. This card we have here is a Dread Summons. Everything, everything in this pile picked up for a dollar. We got a Dread Summons. We got a Gravebreaker Lamia. It's a good tutor. We got an Endemic Plague. I wanted to play this in Grevin so that I could steal an opponent's creature in that my Greven deck and then sacrifice it with this and then it says destroy all creatures that share a creature type with a sacrifice creature which I think for four mana could be a pretty devastating play next we have Brian Stout Arm I'm playing I have a ton of speaking of stealing I have a ton of cards like act of treason so I could just throw all those cards into this to a deck for Brian Stout Arm and just steal creatures and then gain life should be fun for me. I think we have two copies of Engaric's Wake. This card has won me games, so I tend to value this card pretty high. It's a nice board wipe. And then I think we have two copies of a Covetous Prize. One's in foil, which I liked, and then the other one just has like this pre-release symbol on it. But uh, this card is just a tutor, five mana. I needed all the tutors I can get for my Edgar Markov deck. So that's the only reason why we have that right here, is just so that I can add another tutor to my Edgar Markov deck, basically. So we're going to leave all this off to the side. Then we have our auras. So I'm not going to go over any cards in particular, I'm just going to kind of scan through. They got a bin in the store where it's 3 for $1, and then like I said before, I do have the, the employee, not <laughs> employee, I have like the membership discount card, so it's actually even cheaper than that, which I, I find pretty nice. So we have uh, Spirit Link, Captain's Monument. There's a lot of cards here. You got a Manolith, Staff of Sun Magus, 
Most of these cards are going into light paws, I will say, just as a reminder. But I'm thinking about building light paws. I never realized that the the cards you play any aura and you can search for an aura and uh, put it onto the battlefield which I found pretty interesting. I'm glad I picked up this copy of Pacifism because of that. This is not going to light pause. This is going into another deck. This one as well is in another deck. This is a bomb in light pause. This is another tutor type card in light pause that I wanted to play. Spirit Mantle. It's another bomb. Double Strike. Umbra. That's definitely going to light pause. Plus one plus one for each planes and has flying. I like it. At least four, because that costs four to play. The Relic Warder. Shimano's Blessing. This is definitely going into Kotori. Mortal Obstinacy. I like this one. It says whenever Chanic Creature dies, put X plus one plus one put X one one white soldier creature token down to the battlefield or X is its power. So I find that this is good uh, board white protection or removal protection for light paws just in case uh, she goes away. Just take make a bunch of creatures. Prep raise and questioned authority. I like the, that version of the card. Divinity. I like that this gives first strike and the fact that this says as long as another aura is attached it has first strike and lifelink I like that because this is basically two auras every aura is two auras so it just triggers automatically Auramancer Transcendent Envoy Heliod's Pilgrim Bomb Sentinel's Eyes Benevolent Blessing Another Pacifism I don't think I really needed two pacifisms. Tragic Poet. I like this. It says, uh, creatures you control at first strike have double strike. So, I know I have auras that give light paws first strike for a cheap. So, essentially just give them double strike. It's pretty cool. Or her double strike. Prismatic Ward. Otherworldly Journey. I don't think this is... I think this is going in Kotori, honestly. Open the Armory, Holy Mantle, Life's Bounty, just straight up Vigilance, Armored Ascension, I think I had that, I think I have two of these, unless, I'm not even sure, I grabbed these two copies of Suja Priest, these are not going into Light Paws, but I just know this is a fun card for me, Solidarity, Ethereal Armor, and the Rune of Sustenance, so lifelink. So we got a little lifelink theme going on in this Light Paws deck. I don't think all these cards are going to fit inside the deck, but we'll definitely pick the best ones and then that'll go over there. So look forward to me building this this week if you are looking forward to building your own Light Paws deck. And I would appreciate any advice or any help that anybody could offer to me about building Light Paws now and then while I'm uploading those videos as well. We are gonna go live this week a couple of times, so I'm gonna do my best to, if you're not already added to the Discord, you can join the Discord. And I'm going to be sending messages through the Discord so people become aware when I go live. And I'll also let people know on Reddit and then on various other Discord servers as well, okay? I hope everybody has an amazing day. I know today is a good day for me, I had fun. And I'm just going to keep making more YouTube videos for the rest of the week, okay? So I hope everybody has an amazing day. Always remember, eat healthy, okay? Work out every single day. And then most importantly, you got to believe in yourself, all right? Peace out, people.